is this item that is all about greater independence. And it's called the Will Model F Folding Power Wheelchair with Armrest Covers. This normally QBC price would be $3,263, and we have it at $2,966. That's almost a $300 savings. It's on five monthly easy payments of $593.20. $593.20. If you want to use your Q card, um, you can check that out and also any of the other credit cards that we accept. What I want you to know is we're going to give you free shipping and handling. That saves you $55.72. There are different things that come with it that I'll go over, one of which is kind of the side details, and you're going to get red, white, and blue, so you can do it in any of those colors, and it'll make more sense when you get to see the chair as well. It comes with a storage bag. It comes with your... Uh, charger, etc., and of course, all of the instructions. If you do want to use your Q card, um, did we say 18 months? What did you say? Yes, 18 months special financing is what you can uh, do on a Q card and be able to get it home at much smaller prices, um, $165 a month instead of $593 a month. All right, I want to introduce you to my guest. Before we go there, though, I want to tell you something about her. This is a woman who has traveled to 57 countries, 48 of those as a wheelchair user, 35 of those countries by herself. She is an expert in the accessible travel field. She has traveled over 1,200 miles in her chair. She is an award-winning travel writer and photographer and a service-disabled veteran. Her name is Sylvia Longmire, and I can't wait to come and give you a hug. Hi, Hi Sylvia. Hi, so Mary good to have you here. So good to be here. This is such a neat thing that you come here and explain this to people. Um, obviously, if, pe if our customer is in a wheelchair, they've probably seen a lot of different ones to choose from. Sure. But we all need to be prepared. Yes. None of us know what's in our future. Exactly. It could happen in an instant. Yes. And so we're just thrilled to have you Thank here. You. And that you can tell us all about this chair. It's called Will, the Model F Folding Power Wheelchair. Yes, ma'am. First of all, why should I even consider this wheelchair? We go through, like you said, a lot of stages in life and get older. And the best thing about it is it will get you from point A to point B very easily. It's light, it's compact. You can get through very, very tight spaces and it just makes traveling especially just so much easier because you're yeah. relaxed. You're, yeah. yeah. She's a mom of two teenagers, by I the am. way. And she looks so calm. <laughs> and I, I told her, I've had four kids and so I've been through the teen years. Now, I've never sat in this. This is my very first time. And so you'll have to walk me through it. Sure. But you were talking about how easy it is to, you know, just to get from point A to point yes. B. How does this work? What do I do? Okay, so the first thing, you gotta turn it on and it's just got a very simple power button. Okay. And then you have your speed button. You got your plus to make it go faster. Okay. Uh, like we say like a turtle and, and rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> and then the minus to make it go slower and it's yeah. got four different speed settings. Okay. We always recommend to new users, start out slow. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, because yeah, you don't wanna get a little too crazy and start running into things. Yeah. Uh, so start out slow and then you kind of work your way up to whatever mm -hmm. you feel comfortable comfortable and then you have the little and by the way, controller. I just want to mention real quickly because we have some overhead cameras. They were showing yours says 100, mine says 99. Yeah. That's how much juice is in the battery. Yes. Okay, yes. so we're, we're fully powered up, honey. We could go from here to the other side of Westchester. 12.4 miles is how far we can go on <laughs> one charge. 12.4 so. miles, yeah. amazing. Okay, so go back to uh, now, this is like a joystick. Pretty much, yeah. And I, I often tell people it's like playing a, a video game. <laughs> you yeah. know, like an Xbox. But yeah, and what's great is that it's got a very low profile joystick. So when you travel with it, so people ask me all the time. I have a lot of uh, supporters, followers and stuff through social media. Yeah. How do you how do you fly with it? How do you travel with it? And the damage. And I say it's great because there's no there are very few protruding parts. Yeah. And the fact that the joystick is low profile makes it very, very easy yeah. to just put your hand on it. And yeah, and just go roll it around wow. and, and yeah, try it out. And uh, it makes it very easy to drive. Ooh. 
that seems very easy. And yeah. I'll tell you, it really, like you say, you can just kind of lay your hand on it if you need to. You don't yes. really have to push nope. hard at all. No, not at all. And then this one, you were saying also, it, first of all, I got to talk about the comfort. Yes. This is amazingly comfortable. Tell it's me about that. It's very comfortable. So when, at least when I use my chair, when I'm traveling, I'm in my chair all day. So I need to yeah. make sure that it's comfortable right. uh, because if you're, especially if you're wearing jeans or pants or anything, um, yeah. the fabric is really soft. Uh, right. It's water resistant. It's not waterproof. So yeah. if it gets a little wet, it'll dry out a little bit faster. Yeah. Um, if you're sweating, things like that. So right. you want to be someplace that you can sit in it for many hours at a time, be mm -hmm. outside, right. uh, and just be comfortable. It's very important. Yeah, very Im important. Now, you'll see on the sides, that's where you have the red. Yep. And I have the blue. And you get red, white, and blue all coming with the chair. So you can choose whatever color you want on the sides of your chair. Match um, your outfit. Complete. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's right, we match uh, our outfit. And um, when it comes to, you know, just getting in and out of it, do you feel like that is an easy, I mean, it's not gonna be easy for anybody if right. you're in, a, in the chair, but what I'm saying is compared to some other chairs, sure. is this one a little easier to get in and out of? That totally depends on the person. Okay. So um, the armrests uh, don't lift up. So I always like to be very clear with people. It's not yeah. for everybody. Yeah. So it's easier if you're able to take a step or two okay. to lift up or you know, stand up a little bit from your chair and kind of yeah. pivot over into this one. Yes. It's important to understand that. Okay. The chair also has a 250 pound weight limit. Oh, so right. we want to be very clear about that. And the width is 18 inches. Okay. So uh, just to make sure they're comfortable. Also uh, six feet or, or shorter than, than six feet. Okay. Uh, because just for some people, it's not going to be a great solution. But uh, for right. a lot of people, this is really ideal. Yeah. Let's let's roll around a little sure, bit. Sure, let's, let's do it. Go, and I'll just kind of follow you if of you course. want to. Give me, just let me kind of watch you first. And okay. There obviously is a nice foot rest. Yes. That's easy and comfortable. Is that adjustable at all or uh, does it come up It does come least? up. So that okay. way if you want to transfer, it makes it a little bit easier to just kind of flip it up. Yeah. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's adjustable. And then it's got the two uh, front wheels and okay. the motor is in the back. Okay. And so it's got rear wheel drive mm -hmm. and you want, you want to do some off-roading? Sure. Let's oh, I don't know. I'll, I'll let you do the off-roading. I'll do some off-roading. So <laughs> I can do a 1.4 inch. It's got a 1.4 inch clearance, so it does go over obstacles, which is really, really nice, okay. especially if you have like a threshold for a yeah. doorway and you want to get over it. So this right. is really nice. So it'll go over this just like that. Nice and gentle, nice like and soft. Bump. Yeah, pretty much. So <laughs> you want to give it a try? I don't know. I'm not even sure if I know how to turn it. Oh, yet. I think you could. Sure, so you, could, you could do it. Okay, what do I do? Do I just. There you go. Go there. straight on. Yeah, just turn just it. Just turn it. Yeah, go forward okay. a little bit. Yeah. And then. There you go. Turn to your left. Okay. There you go. Just nice and slow. I'm, I'm afraid to do that. You know, it's kind of like it's so. No, you're doing great. And then but just go, go straight forward and yeah. just go real slow. Just take it easy. You got it. You got it. There you go. There you Keep go. going. Yeah. There you go. See? Wow. And you've never even used it. Look how no, easy that was. was. My very, that was very so easy. First time. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, now, let's talk about how fast can this go? There are different speeds. There are different thing. speeds, and at, at, uh, at full at full rapid speed, at full speed, it goes 3.7 miles an hour. Yeah. Uh, so it's fast enough that it's efficient to get you where you want to go, but not so fast that you get out of control or right. start running into start running into things you don't want to do. Yeah. That. I'm gonna come on the other side sure, of you. Sure. Please do. I'm just still practicing. No, take your time. But you know, like you say, a lot of the scooters go up to four miles an hour. So or, or five. Some yeah, of them are very five. fast. So yeah. 3.7 is plenty fast. Yeah. Um, but you know what else? When it comes to the width and everything, this will go through doorways. Yes. And this is where I want to talk a little bit about the traveling. Yes. Is that did you find, like, with planes or um, cars, trains, uh, cruise ships, anything like that. Tell me your experience about how this would fit sure. into those situations. So I'm, I'm a big cruiser. I did like seven oh. cruises last fall. I do usually oh. 10 or 12 cruises a year. Oh. And there are a lot of people that are very avid cruisers. Yeah. Now on cruises, the, the cabins, if you get an accessible cabin, the cabins are wider, but not everybody needs that. Yeah. Uh, but the, the regular cabins, the doorways are usually only 22 inches. This oh. one is uh, about 21 and a half. It's slightly under, uh -huh. but because it 
folds, it's very easy to fold it and store it yeah. in a non-accessible, just a regular cruise ship cabin. Yeah. You can put it either in the closet or in a corner. Uh, so just the fact that it's so narrow and it can navigate mm -hmm. those tight spaces makes it very convenient. I'm going to fold it. Okay. And whoop, I ahead and, put my hand go ahead, on the button go ahead and turn, there for a Go ahead and turn it off. It'll oh, probably I, be a little bit the easier. <laughs> there you go. Turn it off. That's yep. the first thing. But you know what? We always say these are the mistakes that the first person makes. You it's know? all good. It's all good. You know. So you can go ahead so, and fold down the seat back. Okay. Yep. So I'll fold that yep. down. And then you just put your foot on that. Yep. Right yep, there. There's a little piece back now there. Now with your right I'll, hand, it's got that button. Right yep. here, there's just a little button. Squeeze and so that. I'm just going to squeeze that. Until, oh, my goodness. Keep going goodness. until it clicks and then let go of the button. Yeah. Yep. And there then you're you good. Go. Wow, I should pull my cards <laughs> here. No worries, no um, worries. But you know what? One of the things is that that was easy. That's it. And now, then you just roll it around like a suitcase. <laughs> and then how much does it weigh? It weighs 59 pounds with the battery. If you take out the battery, which is super easy, yeah. battery is six pounds. So you take out, we always recommend taking out the battery before picking it up. That way it reduces the yeah. weight. Okay, um, then when I want to open it up, I just squeeze that button again. Yeah, put your, right? you can put your oh, foot put on, my yeah. foot on the back. Yeah, That's and good squeeze idea. the button. Okay, and that'll release it. Did I get that right? Oh, there's the button. There you go. Okay, and then just yeah. unfold it, and then and you then just lift unfold. up the seat back. It clicks, boom, and that's it. And that's it. Now the other thing I'm going to do at some point, I'll show you from the back. I'll actually figure out how to turn around. <laughs> actually, I may have you do it. No worries. And then I can show everybody where the battery sure. is. So do I need to get out of just your way? It. Just I'll, I'll all it to turn around, it's super easy. All you do is just to the left. And that's another great feature is that it's got a very, very small turning radius. So yeah. turning in an elevator, uh, I can even turn on a, on a bus. I, we were in a rental, uh, one of those rental car shuttles yesterday, <laughs> right? And yes. yeah, so it, um, it's like turning in place. So in a very, very oh tight place, it's got goodness. a tiny turn radius. So yeah, you just turn it all the way to the left or all the way to the right and it'll spin you right around. Yeah. And it's approved for air travel. Yes. Right. Okay. Now, so I'm going to have you turn it around oh, if okay. you don't mind. No worries. And put your back to the camera. Sure. And then that way I can show where the battery is. Now, there it is. So here it is right down here. And you can take this battery out just like that. Just like that. So there was a little button that unlocked it. And then if I want to put the battery back in. Let's give it a good shove. There, there we go. go. <laughs> well, here, click. And then this is where you can charge it. Now, when I go to charge it, I can charge it in where it's already in the chair, or I can charge it like by taking it out yep. and taking it inside, correct? Absolutely, whatever is more convenient for whatever yeah. you want to do with it. Um, the other thing too is how long does it have to charge? And then you said it can go 12.4 sure. miles. I know, it's. I definitely don't recommend running it until it gets to zero because okay. you don't want to run out of battery power. Yeah. Um, but from zero to 100, usually about four to five hours. Wow. It, it charges yeah. really, really quickly. Yeah, yeah, really. I mean, the whole thing is if you're using it every day, you want to charge it overnight. Yeah. Every night, you know, just like we do our cell phones, our phone, our watches and all of that. Um, here's some video. Well, let's just talk about, you know, the ease of use. If sure. somebody is kind of getting to the point where for whatever reason, it could be a disability, it could be a disease, it can be whatever it might be. If they're getting to the point where walking is harder or just walking is making them feel like they might fall over. Yeah. It can be balance problems. Sure. It can be actual, you know, um, mobility problems, things like that. Go back to why this is the chair that they should consider. So, and I'll, I'll tell you a, a personal story for this. Please, so I've I would had, love that. I've had multiple sclerosis for 18 years. Oh. So I started out walking and then over time, you, know, mm -hmm. you, kind, of, you kind of slow down. So sure. went to a cane and then started using a walker. And for, for a few years I was using a walker, but it was just getting so hard. And I knew I was going to need an electric solution to yeah. get from point A to point B. And I resisted as long as I could. And that's, you see that a lot with people who are, are losing their mobility. It's like, oh, I just don't want to go for that solution. Right. So I finally, I finally just kind of broke down and said, I'm, I'm going to need this. Mm -hmm. And I got it. And you know what the first thing I did was? 
I went around the neighborhood with my kids. I had never really, I, I had driven, you know, I was able yeah. to drive, but I had never just been able to walk around my neighborhood that I had been living in for two years. So I went in the electric chair I had at the time. They didn't have one of these. Uh, yeah. I wish they had. Yeah. And just the fact that I could roll behind my kids and look at the bugs and look at the birds and see oh. them just walking and having fun. And I could start going to their, uh, their soccer games. I could go with them to the mall. I could go places where I needed to go a longer distance. And for anybody to do that with their kids, their grandkids, yeah. just be able to go shopping.